All right, guys, John with hookahjohn.com here. I gotta go right into this because look at this desk. What a mess, right? It's been, I had to drive down San Diego, get all of you guys some Tangiers. Uh, came back, got all this stuff. Came back today. Here, can you grab this, please? All right, there you go. And we're going right into this video without any, something came in today that's just, I have a good feeling about. And I think you are too. All right, now, you guys are familiar with Sahara, the Sahara Smoke brand and company. I mean, best marketing out there. They've done a few products that are really great. Um, I don't always grab all of their products, just a few of them. Um, whatever those reasons may be, who cares? Because what I'm about to show you is highly impressive, like more than I would have expected from Sahara Smoke. Okay, here's just a tray, but we got the executive stem. You're gonna have to excuse me because I didn't do a ton of research. I just, uh, I looked at this video a while ago. I wanted to get these bad boys. So check out the nice little cigar type box, wine box, whatever you want to call it. Get the Sahara Smoke stamp on it, slides out. You guys saw me do that, right? You got that word. Just go like this. I don't know if cameraman's trying to pack your orders and I just grabbed them to do some stuff. So that's your box that it comes in. So now ch let's check out this beast. It is called the Executive. Cool name. Super heavy. I'm gonna get some tongs in here. This thing is just a beast. This is so heavy. I don't know. You, should we weigh it? Let's weigh it real quick. Grab a piece of plastic for protection. All right, you gotta do that. All right. Again, I'm rushing it, so sorry to do that, but I gotta get this out next week. I got a nice video planned for you. We're headed out to Vegas for that show. And we got, let's see, four and a half pound stem. It feels heavier than that, to tell you the truth. It's just, let's check out some of this work real quick here. So what I'm seeing here is you've got a shine and a flat look on it. If you wanna get that up close, I'm gonna turn some lights on here, see if it works. Might get a better angle in there. Hopefully that lighting helped out. So you can see you got some nice smooth sides around here. And in here you've got some like unfinished or raw feel to it. Even with the design, those lines going in there over the raw. I don't know what kind of metal this is. If it's brass or not, maybe some of the guys from Sahara Smoke can chime in and make some comments for me under there. I just was wanting to get this out before we go to Las Vegas. So it looks like you've got a traditional hub rather than, um, what do you call that, a common chamber. You have a traditional chamber, which is pretty cool. This little purge valve, oh, looks like a nice big fat ball bearing. And I'm gonna assume it does the job. Can you get in there and see, will that focus in pretty good? You can see all the way out and how wide that purge valve is. You see how wide these are compared to a finger. I can't give you any real measurements. That kind of shows you a little bit. It's a nice thick. Uh, these are nice and thick. Uh, down, or um, purges. All right, here's that right there. Sweet. Nice little look here, looks like a Arabian tent or something, I don't know. I didn't plan this video, not one bit. This part does not seem to be an unscrewable part, or down stem, all gold color. And so, I, the only thing I planned out, what base do I put this on? Well, first let's try this. Huh, doesn't fit there, right? A lot of you people get hookahs like this, say, oh, my tray doesn't fit. Like, all right, this is gonna be part of the back to basics, but it doesn't apply too much. What you do is, Take this off here. I don't think that is the way you do it. No, we took the whole thing apart. We don't want to do that. So let's put this back in. I can tell by the engineering they put some markers in there to do that. So this is, should be coming out by itself. Unless I was just dumb. Yeah, I was. I was just dumb, okay? Take the grommet off first. Okay, so maybe you might want to put some Loctite people of Sahara, or even you users, okay? So don't take this off. I don't think there's a need to. Jonathan or any of the guys over there, just go ahead and tell me. Make some notes on here. And again, sorry for rushing your video. i try this again. Something just ain't right. And did I do something wrong? 
I know when I took it apart, I think I, I moved this piece. Let's do that again. Where's this one piece? It's got threads on it, but in here it looks like just one piece. It's really odd. I don't like that space there. I'm gonna grab another one, see if I messed anything up. Grab another one. One second, guys. Every time I wanna make a damn impromptu video, something has to go wrong. You guys don't know how many videos I've made where I, they actually didn't make it. There's actually been products and I'm like, I, I just can't do it. I'll stop and be like, I can't do this. Product sucks that bad. And I don't want to say it's that bad, but I just stop. So here's another, no, this one's got the same thing. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That is odd. So I'm going to have to talk to some, unless we're going to put it on here and then do it. I don't think so. I really don't. I don't think so. Yeah, it's too much interference there. So I'm going to tell the guys at Sahara Smoke, what's up? What did I do wrong? Unless it screws in, because there are threads right there. So let's see. And are there threads in here? There are not threads in here. But why? Let's see. Huka John is not as stupid as he looks, right? <laughs> all right. Now it doesn't go all the way down, but. I'm going to see if I can talk to the people at Sahara Smoke and see what the deal is. All right, you're going to want to watch this video if you get one. There's a tiny space in there, but I'm going to have to resolve that issue later or else this video could take an extra few minutes that we just don't want to do. But everything is super tight in this now. Now, you're going to have to choose a base. We carry a lot of bases. You can use a cheap Chinese or Egyptian base, or you can go big. I already planned this out. I didn't measure the water level. Okay. Yeah, it's almost perfect anyways. Water off. I'm only gonna put the best base on this because this stem deserves an awesome base. This uh, grommet that it came with does not fit with this base, so it's gonna point me in the right direction. We're short staffed today. Um, do you know which grommets go with these? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Maybe you can point me out. I'll show everybody all the secrets we got going on here. You sure those will work? We need a black one, right? You want me to hold the camera while I find one? All right. Check out the big fat face on Hookah John. All right, so I guess a little bit more of a look in there. Check out that tray. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So it came with a, a base grommet. It comes with a hose grommet. And there was a bowl grommet on there. Okay, again, the up close. So we're just going to put this... Let's see, while we're doing this, you guys check me out here, let me do some poses for you while we're trying to fit that. Serious Huka John look. The distressed Huka John look. The what the F Huka John look. The hey Huka John's checking you out look. All right, you got this? Check out this bad boy. And since we didn't even try anything, since we didn't even plan anything, we'll go into other stuff. I'm gonna try to light up some coals, but who am I kidding, they're not gonna, be lit by the time we go through this video. Maybe they will if I come up with some more witty banter to talk about. Okay, so again, it's called the executive. Check out these tongs that it comes with. Sahara smoke tongs. When have you guys ever seen me promote anything by Sahara smoke? These are like a sword, the mighty sword. Just chop someone finger off with this. Let me see. Let's see. All right. So we can do that. Still got my coordination. So anyways, you get your coals. No bowl. So what are we gonna do for a bowl? Okay, we'll just use, I don't know, it's gonna fit on there. Let's say many of you guys have a John Harmony bowl. It's gonna fit there just fine. Perfect, snug. You can almost lift the whole hookah, which I don't recommend. All right, nice and snug. You need a hose. Let me grab one of these. Trusty Narbiche hoses. Okay. See if these fit in perfect. Cause that hose port looks a little short and stubby. You know, a bunch of people. Let's see if we can get this in there. Yeah, nice and tight. That seems to work. 
it's got a draw. Just gonna check one thing out, emphasize, because now I noticed it even more. The down stem, I don't know if it's just because it's in the base. Pretty hefty down stem. Pretty, pretty good. It's not super wide draw. <laughs> Thanks, cameraman. We're gonna lose the bowl. Anyways, um, dude, the thing's on there. It can hold a four and a half pound stem. Pretty good. So you got your uh, pretty hefty down stem. As far as diameter, I didn't measure it. It's, uh, I wouldn't call it, definitely not restricted. Not ultra wide, but it, but it's pretty wide. So they've even got their name brand engraved on it. It's a Harris Mo. People, oh, it looks like a serial number. SSB I 505-1239. And on the box it's handwritten the 239, so it matches up with the serial number. Cool way of personalizing these, as well as possibly keeping inventory straight. All right, so you get that in there. Nice. I don't know about you guys, it goes beautiful with the Hookah John Boho. You can use any other base you want. Sahara makes some nice bases, uh, but these are Czech made, uh, made in Czech Republic by artisans. So if you're gonna have a hookah this nice, you may as well have a base this nice. And a hose this nice and a bowl this nice. So who do we wanna pack a bowl to? Let me just go like this, try to grab something. First shisha that comes out of my hand. <sighs> do I really wanna do this? Cause I need a smoke and I wanna grab something nice. So, I don't know dude. Let's go with my basic mix. Not a basic mix. This is what I've been smoking most of this week. Alfacker grape mint, Alfacker pineapple, uh, grapefruit mint, mixed. Do this. Well, we wanna put this thing to a test. I hate stopping the video because you know what that means? More work for me when I edit these. It's Friday, next week we're going out to Las Vegas Tobacco Plus Expo, and we're swamped getting our stuff ready together. Getting our stuff. You guys know what I mean. Shut up. All right, so again, with Alfacker, one thing I like about them, simple. Stir it up, get it consistent as far as what kind of flow is in there. Doesn't take a genius, nor does it take somebody yelling down your throat that you're stupid and you don't know how to pack a bowl. You can pack a bowl, all right? There you go. Go ahead and get it kind of loose packed. Again, Alfacker always gives me good smoke. Um, not the only brand, there's other brands out there, but that's not the point of this video now, is it? Okay. I am not a great mint person, but a lot of people like it. So that's part of my ongoing research and development. I have to test or use products that I don't even like. Getting messy there. Clump that in. Look, there's almost a different color between the two. Shit, too much. Almost. Not really. What's up with this clump in here? I don't like that. You gotta stir that clump up. Facker, I might have to talk with you guys. Speaking of El Facker and talking with those guys, son of a gun over there that works at that place. Won't return my texts or answer the phone or now I get to deal with other employees over there. You know, when Hookah John rings you on the line, you answer the phone, you understand me? Mofo knows who he is. Knows exactly who he is. He's probably one of the first people watching this video. So, I'd have to have a talk with some people over at Elfacker, say what's going on. All right, so, simple, simple, simple. Foil, can I get some foil in this place? Oh. Why are we taking, we're taking our foil? Is this pre-punched? Ready to use. All right, well, since we're just shouting out for everyone, why don't we shout out for Starbucks? Aluminum foil. That wasn't even planned in this. But, speaking of Starbucks foil, that sounds flimsy, but it's not, it's actually really thick. That's why we're taking it with us to use during the trade show when we have lots of hookahs pulled up. So, you can bet that I approve on that prove on that. All right, clean your bowl. The reason I'm rambling on, ladies and gentlemen, because I didn't plan to do this in light cold, so I did it now. I'm gonna check this thing out. I am sincerely excited to try this out. Oh, son of a bitch. Does that ever happen to you? Does that ever happen to you? It still works. You could save it. Look, some people don't want to get a whole new sheet, so you can go like this. You can recycle it. But you know what? 
because this is a video, I do want to get it right. So yeah, let's get another slice of Starbucks. This happens sometimes. It definitely happens with thinner foil. It doesn't happen with thick foil unless you got strong masculine hands like Hugo John and you apply too much pressure or it could be wet around here from juices. So definitely dry that out. Foil drag. People discussing foil. That was last week's video, by the way, foil drag. Don't make fun of them that bad. We've all had a foil drag issue here or there. All right, so let's try to not make this happen twice. Sometimes it's the fault of the bowl, it has sharp edges. This one doesn't really have a sharp edge, but I was going for the extra drum tight look, the marching band drum tight look. Feel. God. Puka John won't shut the hell up. Who am I even talking to? There's nobody in the room. The cameraman's not looking at me. He's focusing on his camera. All, the, all of those of you out there in the production industry where you're filming people, do you even pay attention to what they're saying or do you just try to keep them in the frame the right way? Some people videotape and put a big, like the wall way up high and it's like center the, the subject. I never studied it, but I get it. All right, so, hole patterns. Puka John does not stress out over hole patterns, but I see some of you guys trying to do stuff like this, like this, it's, all, it's, it's cute. You know, you do the thinner ones in here. So cute. So, I'll just do that. I see these pictures you guys put out there on Facebook. In the end, it's a bunch of holes in your foil. Get that going. God, I wish we had pull ready and we don't so let's see draw check i might want to play with this water level i definitely might want to play it's in there a good inch so i'm feeling just because of the the wide base the wide hookah i'm thinking maybe a little bit more water will not hurt Okay, because I kind of want to, there's a certain feel you get when you draw from a hookah. The water bubbling and all that, it's just a, it's a feel. Now don't get me wrong, that's going to work what I had before. Okay, let's try it again and see if I get that feel that I'm looking for. You guys know what I'm talking about. You hear the sound different there? It's not as hollow sounding, it's more of a, it's a, it's a, a strong current, a nice rip. There we go. Let's try it with this. It stopped. Internal temperature too high. A lot of. Alright, so I was forced to stop it due to camera overheating for no reason. I wasn't going that long, but even the camera got sick of me. Great. I'm not going to let that bother me. Oh, check out the grooves, the little teeth they got on this. Can you see those? Little teeth right there. In case you want to. Cut something in, chop it up. What, the, what do you guys think it's a hair smoke? Uh, I don't know what that's for, but it's cool. It's a cool feel. It's not sharp. It's not going to cut you. Um, but I do like these toms. Nice. Nice shape to it. All right. So our coals are done. Just about. Enough to do this video. And at worst or best, I actually got a hookah to smoke with and catch up on my work. I'm really far behind today. It's Friday. It's almost quitting time. These coals are still not done. Not 100%. You know why? Because this coil burner we've had. Anyways, you guys feel free to check me out for another minute or so. Alright. Anyways, we're going to see you guys at uh, Tobacco Plus Expo out there. Sahara Smoke will be out there. Fumari will be out there. Uh, bowl companies, coal companies. Yours truly. Tobacco companies like Starbuzz, uh, Hayes, love the guys from Hayes too. Um, I think I mentioned Fumari, Sahara Smoke. Uh, tobacco companies, there'll probably be a couple others out there. Um, I'm looking forward to it, I'm excited. Okay, normally you should let your coals light up a little bit more than that, but you guys get the point. Okay, so let that heat up. We saw this. Comes in a little presentable box which is cool 
So we're gonna, we didn't mix these up, right? So we wanna put this one back because this is gonna belong to someone. Really impressed Sahara smoke with what I see so far. I haven't smoked it yet, but I think it's gonna be good. So this one will go back up on the shelf. I'm sure they'll have these next week at the show. It's got a nice rumble roar to it. I think my tobacco still needs to heat up. I'll add another coal now just for just to heat this up, but normally I would go back. A little thing I almost forgot to do, and you guys should always remember to do. Make sure this is turned off right here, alright? I have been known to leave this on overnight. People like to use the word effortless draw. I don't know what that means when you're just like breathing in. So yeah, I guess you get that. But then there's other guys of you who like restricted. You can pull a little harder. And then those of you that just don't give a crap and just like to go. And get huge smoke, right? From effortless to full blown effort, I like to give it about a six as far as effort. What I meant by that, I like to give about a 6 out of 10 worth of my own energy when I'm pulling on any hookah. You guys get the point? One thing that I hate about doing my videos and rushing and then I start a hookah and the smoke seems weak at first and then I go back to my desk and I'm editing and uploading and then the hookah is so much better 10 minutes later. But as you can see, this is going great right now. After about, what, what was that, about a minute or two, we'll get it going. Pretty sick hookah. I gotta get these online and take down a coal. That's it. Check them out. What can I compare this to? Just an old, okay, there's a lot of new hookahs coming out. The American made ones by Starbucks. Uh, the Regal is, would I call that modern? Yeah, definitely. Um, Prometheus, modern. This is a new brand of hookah, but it's got an old style to it. It's got, I don't want to use rustic, but it's got a feel to it, a look to it that's um, antique-ish almost, um, reminiscent of something old. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I like it. I'm going to continue smoking this. I'm going to discuss it with you guys on Facebook at Hookah John Circle of Friends. Make sure you're a member. We're already up to like, oh, I don't know, 1,700 users in a few months. Not bad. So, guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm going back to my desk. All right? Good job, Sahara Smoke. See you guys next week. You're probably too busy to watch this video beforehand, but maybe I'll shoot it over to you guys. All right. Talk to you guys later.